The zebrafish is a small tropical fish that originates from the Ganges River in India. But what's remarkable about these fairly simple organisms is that they're really genetically very similar to us. A lot of the work that we do is in their offspring, in their larvae, and these are transparent. And so it's very easy for us to be able to see them under the microscope, being able to label cells or label genes with fluorescent markers. There are a number of different things that we can do with the zebrafish. We can introduce human cancer-causing genes into the zebrafish. We can take human cancer cells from patients and transplant those into the zebrafish. And when we do that, we see those cells grow and divide and spread much like the way they do in humans. And in all of those cases, we can take those fish and expose them to drugs by adding drugs actually just to the water where these little uh, baby zebrafish, where these larvae are, and then we can look at drug responses. Our laboratory is the only laboratory in Canada dedicated to using the zebrafish as a model for cancer research. And so because of that, I think we're very fortunate to have the opportunity to participate in many national and international projects to move the, the needle in cancer research forward. We have a very diverse group here, both in terms of levels of experience and background, who have come here specifically to work with us to study cancer and rare genetic disorders using the zebrafish. And so we've really created this multicultural, very supportive environment here to train people. Currently in cancer research, we've made tremendous advancements, both in terms of outcome and understanding of cancer biology. The problem with that information is understanding that information. We know a lot about cancer biology, but does that help improve treatment for these patients? And so we think that preclinical models like the zebrafish making models of these different cancers can help us understand which of those mutations is most important and which treatment they're most gonna to respond to. On the other side, we have tumors that are now very responsive to regimens of chemotherapy and tremendous improvements in survivorship. The problem is we have all of these uh, long-term survivors who now have all sorts of short and long-term side effects from their chemotherapy. So it's at tremendous cost. And again, the zebrafish as an intact organism that really metabolizes drugs the same way as humans do and has a heart and kidneys and uh, all of those things that we would be able to look at in terms of those target organs, we can study the safer delivery of chemotherapy. We're involved with this project called Profile, which is a national project with original seed funding from the Terry Fox Research Institute, where we are trying to, across the country, leverage expertise in childhood cancers to try to profile 450 hard to treat childhood cancers from coast to coast. These are children that and young adults that otherwise would not have any other options. The zebrafish offers tremendous opportunities and advantages and in cancer research and I think we're really just at the threshold of recognizing the potential of the zebrafish to be able to do this work.